Today we're going to be doing something out here on Mississippi Acres that I've been wanting to do for quite a while. Now, I don't recommend doing this in real life, but I am going to do it in Call of the Wild because it's a game. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some road hunting. Now, the reason this map is absolutely perfect for doing this is because the roads go right through the middle of some cornfields and some wheat fields, as well as some openings along the way. So we're going to start over here by Jonesville Lodge, go along the edge of this road here, and we'll probably jump up some potential alligators along this river as well as whitetail, raccoon, uh, gray fox, and even black bear all the way around here. We're gonna swing back around here. And then typically in this area here, it's loaded with whitetail. Then we're gonna cross over here and probably find a bunch of potential uh, grouse as well as quail and even whitetail along this path here. Alrighty guys, so here we go. We're gonna be jumping on the ATV. We're gonna be driving down all these back roads. So we're gonna have a good time. And we already kicked up what appears to be a rabbit. I was going to say, if it was a raccoon, we would definitely go after it, but it's just a rabbit. So we're not going to be going after them, but we're going to have the 308 AR with the red dot sight. We're going to have the AR-223 with the red dot sight, and we're going to have the 22 as well. So it's going to be a pretty perfect setup for jumping off some animals down along this road. All right, we're approaching Catfish Bank here, coming around this point. Like I said before, we could definitely kick up some gators along there, and that would be super cool if we could. All right, we already jumped up something down along the edge of the road there. I can't quite tell what it is. It appears to be potentially a black bear, but it's way the heck ahead of us, so I can't really tell what it is. And I don't even know if we'll be able to get close enough to get a shot off, but that's okay. It ran the wrong direction, and sometimes that's going to happen. In fact, yeah, it was definitely a bear. That was definitely a black bear. Well, at least now we know what it was. There we go. We just jumped up a black bear. Another one crossed the road right in front of us here. Man, that thing was hauling. Oh, right there. Oh, my God. Am I blind? The thing ran right past us. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, I think we smoked him. I think we smoked him. Oh, get out from behind that tree. Come on. There he is. Oh, that's money. We got him. We definitely got him. He's going down. We put a couple of good hits into him. He is not going far after that. Let's get over there and go take a look at our first animal down of today's hunt. All right, we got blood right here. Looks like non-vital hit. That was when he was running away and we pretty much pulled off a potential Texas heart shot on this black bear. We got some more blood right here as well. And I saw him going this way. All righty, here's our black bear down right over here. Let's have a look and find out even what it was because I don't even know. All right, so it was a level three female and we hit it three times, got an intestine running shot. That first shot was actually pretty solid. Um, going for a Texas hard shot there, just didn't get the penetration. Then another pretty good shot as well, as well as a hip shot on the run at 160 yards. And just think, this isn't even a really good spot to jump up animals here because we're not to any openings yet. It's still pretty thick. That bear ran right through here and yeah, it's not super, super thick, but it's also not wide open like some of the spots that we're about to go to. All right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. You see how it's wide open over there? If we jumped up a bear or whitetail or even hogs, they're going across that field and we are getting them. I'll tell you that. So this is a perfect spot to be able to jump some stuff up. Right now, we're only kicking up a bunch of rabbits, it appears. But even if we see some raccoons, that would definitely be worth it as well. So we'll keep an eye out and we'll absolutely fly around this corner here and hopefully we kick something up. If you want to know where we are on the map, I'll show you. We're over here by Bingham Bayou looping around this bend here. And once we get over here, it's going to be Whitetail Paradise. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hog, 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 hog. Got him. Oh my god, no, 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 no. What did I just do? What did I just do? I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna freaking cry. Oh my god. Oh. I've never, oh, I've never seen a five medium. What is it, wild hog? And I'm pretty sure we hit it twice really good. Maybe shot high, because I'm not seeing any blood here. Okay, yeah, so we wouldn't have gotten it anyways. 
But dude, I am pretty sure. What are the odds of that? Seriously. The second animal we see, we jump up. And it's a freaking dime potential. A wild hog. And not only that, it's a sweet looking one too. I can't even. Oh my God. I can't believe we just did that. Oh, how did I mess that up so bad? Why didn't I not hit that first shot? I don't know. But it looks like the third shot is definitely what gave us vitals. So you know what? Maybe the first shot somehow missed or something. I don't even know how many times I shot this thing. 144.6. Oh, it would have been a diamond. It would have been a diamond, dude. Oh, but both of our shots. You know what? We messed up this. We totally messed up both those shots. I wasn't even. Oh, you realize how long I've waited for something like this? And not only that, it's a freaking black spot. That would have been like the all time coolest diamond wild hog that you could get. Look at the tusks on that thing. <laughs> what kind of shots were those? I don't even know. Like, I didn't even know it was big, so I don't know why I messed up those shots so bad. That was a horrible shot. The second shot was just a little bit high. I knew that. If we would have dropped down a little bit more, we probably would have caught lung and liver on that shot. But the third shot is what basically saved it, you know? These shots wouldn't have done anything anyways, so it's not even like we messed it up. It's more like my shots were just very poor. That's, I mean, if I had a dream diamond wild hog, then that's the one I would want right there. A diamond black spots. About as rare of a wild hog diamond as you can get. Um, I'm not going to mount it because it's super expensive and we messed it up, but... Wow, what are the freaking odds of that? Seriously. And we had him in the perfect spot, too. See, the problem is he ran through this uh, this flower field here, or cotton field, whatever it is. And I couldn't get on him until he got to, like, right about there. And by that point, I don't know, I was already shaking and whatnot, and I just messed up. I totally choked. I'm going to admit, I totally choked big time on that one. Oh, man. Why couldn't it at least be like a troll, you know? It's going to take a while to get over that one. I'm not going to lie. It's going to take quite some time. Oh boy. That's almost like borderline messing up a great one right there. I mean, it's super awesome that we did find something that cool. You know, we literally like just barely started hunting. We took down that black bear, which was a female, a small female black bear. We go from a small female black bear to a freaking giant black spotted dime potential wild hog. I mean, what are the odds of that? Seriously. You know, that's hunting. And I spotted that thing at the last second too. And when I... And I spotted that thing at the last second too. And when I spotted it, I knew we messed up. And we messed up big time. Am I seeing something or is that part of the road? No, that's part of the road. It almost looked like something was running down there that was like white colored, but I don't know what it would be. Oh, there we go. Jumped up a black bear going across the road way out ahead of us there. About uh, 250 yards in front of us. It cut over to the north side. Oh, if it cuts across here, we might get a chance. No, it's gone. Let's get back on the road. Oh, there we go. White tail, white tail, white tail, white tail. Coming across the road, coming across the road. Big buck, big buck, big buck. Oh my God, I can't see. It ran right into the fog. 
That actually might be a diamond potential whitetail. It ran right into that foggy woods down there and I couldn't see where it went. There. There's one right there. That's clearly not the biggest one. There's a doe right there. All right, so here's where we are. And this is where I told you whitetail paradise is. So I'm not surprised that we have whitetail here. What do we got there now? What is that? What is that? What is that? Mm, definitely not big. All right, here we go. We just grabbed another ATV on the north end of the map and we're gonna be running along the edge of this road here. I'll show you in a second. Oh, look at the water here. Let's try and make it through this water without hydroplaning too much, but I'll show you on the map. We're up here. We're running along the edge of this road all the way down here and we're gonna loop around to here and we'll see what we end up jumping up. I know there's a ton of whitetail and tons of raccoon down here. Um, there's a few wild hogs, but We'll see what happens. Oh, you know what else there is? There are a lot of fox here. Lots of fox here, as a matter of fact. So I'm also, I'm almost, you know, I'm almost wondering if we should take kind of the dirt trail roads versus this main road like this. Because I feel like the dirt roads have a better chance at having animals around. So maybe we should take one of these roads instead. What? Is that a trash can? Yeah, it's a trash can. There we go. We jumped something up up there, and I think it might be a raccoon. It looked pretty dark and small. Oh, there's a couple. I can't tell if that's a raccoon or if those are wild hogs. And, of course, they ran right into this super thick cornfield here, didn't they? Well, let's see if we can't get lucky enough to jump them out somewhere. Where'd they go? Over there, I just saw some. Oh, it's a hawk. And it's, well, that one's definitely not gone. I mean, why couldn't that happen? You know what I mean? Oh, raccoon, raccoon, raccoon. Why couldn't that happen? Why couldn't that level five medium run out 150 yards out like that? And we take one good shot and absolutely smoke it, you know? Why couldn't that happen? Oh, we got more hogs around the area. Let's get ready. All right, let's pick this one up. Ended up getting a nice neck shot. Of course, it's a female, 131 yards out. There we go. We jumped something up up there, but I'm pretty sure that might be. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Got him. Raccoon, raccoon, raccoon. Got the raccoon. Get back on the hogs. More hogs, more hogs. Smoked him. Oh man, look at them all taking off up there. More of them, more of them, more of them. Oh, this one's done. Absolutely smoked. And another raccoon out there as well. Another hog. Oh my God, we got to make up our mind. What are we going to do? Going for the hog. Got him. I really hope it's not going to be another giant, but I'm pretty sure. Oh, another raccoon. Holy, look at this. He's hit. He's hit hard. He's hit hard. Pretty sure he might have went down. Holy, the animals that came out of here was absolutely unreal. They were all in this cornfield and then they all busted out at once. Man, that was awesome. Let's get over there and go see how we did. Man, there was so many animals coming out of there. So many. All right, here we go. Oh, more, more, more. Raccoon, raccoon, raccoon. Got him. Oh, I'm empty. I'm empty. We smoked the first one, though. Come on, where is it? Oh, I can't see it. Well, we got a raccoon piled up right here. And that one. If we had any more bullets, we definitely would have had it as well. 
But that's all right. We did pretty good. We did really good, actually. Here's this one. It's going to be a black spots uh, female. Nice double lung vertebrae shot on that one. And then we got a couple more down over here. There's a hog right here piled up. There we go. There's a big old gold brown hybrid level four. Smoked him on the run. 160 yards out. 114 gold brown hybrid. There we go. That is awesome. And then we got this raccoon piled up right here. Which I keep seeing it, but then not seeing it. Like, where in the heck is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. Here we go. Oh, nice. 6.8 bronze. And um, it's because we did not get a vital. So we actually do, in fact, need to get vital hits on these raccoon. But that's a pretty decent shot. Running away 78 yards with the AR-223. And we connected quite nicely. Then we got a couple more hogs down here. And then we have some more raccoon down as well. There's another male brown hybrid. 180 yards on the run. Looks like a borderline almost Texas heart shot there. Just a tad bit too high. Still pretty cool. And not a bad size hog down. Another one piled up down over here. And then there's a raccoon, I believe, not far away as well. Here's this one down right here. That's going to be a female. Ended up pulling 190 yard trotting intestine shot on that one there. And our raccoon is piled up right over here. This is the one I was telling you about right here. Let's go have a look at this one. I think we hit it pretty good. Yes, we did. What an epic shot on the run. 46 yards out. But I mean, really? An AR-223 on a raccoon at 46 yards out and it's going right for the heart. You're going to tell me it's just barely going to touch it? I think we need some more penetration than that. But a 4.6 female. I mean, it was honestly like an incredible shot. On the run, 46 yards out. You know, I would have to say that this was definitely our best hunt or our best uh, stretch that we've hunted today. I mean, how many animals did we just pull off of that little spot right there? Let's check from right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven animals out of there, including five hogs and two raccoons. Well, there was actually like four raccoons, but... We ran out of bullets. But anyways, yeah, that little stretch right there was absolutely phenomenal. Take a look. Devil's Fork right here. We looped around this point and this cornfield flushed out all those animals. And they were absolutely everywhere. Whoa, look what's about to land right here, guys. Got it. We got it. We got it. Where's more? Where's more? There, there, there. Oh, I'm empty. Well, we got one down. That's pretty sweet. Oh, another one. Dude, I wish I had my red dot on me right now. Oh, got him, got him, got him. We got two. Another one, another one. Come on, come on. Got him. He's hit. He's going down. I think we got three. Let's go take a look. And this is our first quail. Of the hunt. Oh yeah, there's two. There's one laying right there as well. A 205, 40 yards out on the fly. Nice shot there. And then we got this one here. 201, 47 yards out, red brown. And I think that's it. Because if there was more, there'd be hunting pressure. All right, now we just need to jump up some nice white tail bucks. That would be perfect. Oh, or that, or that, or that. That's a raccoon. And that is a fox is what I meant to say. Because we got a fox. And a raccoon. Where's the fox? Where's the fox? Where is it? Right there, right there, right there. Pull out your... Oh, we hit him. We hit him. What a heck of a shot, dude. That was epic. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know how good we hit him, but we definitely hit him. We got blood. No organs hit. So we didn't hit him that great. That is not a very promising shot. And the 223 is pretty weak, so I don't think it's going to take him down. We're going to need a follow-up. There it goes, there it goes. Oh, I saw it, I saw it. Where did it go? Oh, that's not, that's a, that's a raccoon. Dude, I don't want to run out of bullets on this raccoon, though. Where's our fox?
Raccoon's hit pretty solid. I don't know where our fox went or if it's even gonna go down. Which way did it go? Oh, I found the fox. Here he is down right over here. And we got some wild hogs down over there as well. Here we go. It was a level six and our shot was just a little bit far back, but 29 yards out and it's a gray. So you know what? I'll take it. Took him on the run. And that is not an easy task to do with a 223 AR and the red dot. Whoa, we definitely smoked something right here. Holy vital hit from this raccoon that's piled up right over here. What a nice shot on that one there we made. And it's a 4.5 brown. Uh, the first shot did not produce a very good uh, outcome, but the second shot was absolutely money on the run. 83 yards out there. And this is where we're at right here over by Panola West Mobile Home. So right here was excellent and right here was excellent. So what we're noticing is right along the edge of these cornfields here is where a lot of them are busting out onto the roads. So the better we get at this, the more efficient we're gonna get. And then eventually we're gonna get some giant bucks out of this and it's gonna be super, super awesome. We have returned and it's early in the morning this time. So I'm hoping we get some better results here. I know for sure there should be whitetail now. Hopefully we'll get lucky and jump up some gators along the way though. The thing about the gators is they're not that fast. Like if they're on land resting right now, by the time we jump them up, we would have plenty of time to get off a couple of shots. There they go, there they go, there they go. I just saw the whole entire herd of whitetail cut across this road. This time we're staying on them. We are not losing sight of this herd of whitetail. They're about 250 out and they cut across right down over in there. And I want to check where they're heading to. Same spot they went last time. They're going all the way over across. I would say they cut over right about here, as a matter of fact. So let's cut over. Oh, oh, bad spot to cut over. Really? Oh my God, that is not a good situation. We cut over right into all those stumps. All right, it's okay. We're back on. Them. Looks like there's two more down on the bottom as well. They're running right down that ridge line. I could probably take a shot on that buck right there and I might. Oh, we got him. We definitely got him. Hit him a little bit far back, but we got him. That's going to be an intestine hit for sure. Percentage is dropping. All right, we jumped up two, three in the back here. I can't tell if they're bucks or does or what. Oh, we just went 100%, I'll tell you that. They're crossing the road, they're crossing the road. That's what I've been waiting for this whole time. Oh, I'm out of breath. Dude, I'm out of breath, I can't even take the shot. It's okay, it's okay. More coming, more coming. Dropped it. Holy, I think we did decent. I definitely would have smoked that first one if it would have crossed and we weren't out of breath. But sometimes that's the way it goes. One more coming across. Can't tell if it's a doe or a buck. But it's hit solid either way. Another one coming across. Woo! Drilled that one. Couple of does. They're crossing, they're crossing. Oh my God, 250 yards out, they're crossing. Well, I thought he was gonna, dude, we dropped him. No freaking way. How did we do that? Oh my God. How in the heck did we pull off? Oh, we got him hit. We got that buck hit as well. How in the heck did we pull off that shot and absolutely drop that buck on the spot? As he was walking directly away from us, the only thing I can think of is we pulled off a trotting Texas heart shot at 280 yards with the red dot. That's the only thing I can think of that we would have possibly been able to take that angle of a shot and drop him like that on the spot. Another one coming across. I can't tell if it's a doe or a buck. It's a doe. Oh, okay. I know you guys saw that first shot and it looked bad, but I was actually trying to get its attention and uh, Oh my god, we are so awesome with this red dot right now. I cannot even believe how accurate we are with this thing We're just stacking them up left and right 
All right, here we go. The moment of truth. What did we hit on this beautiful white tail buck? I don't know, but I really want to find out. No way. Did we do it? Did we pull off a Texas hard shot? 210 yards walking straight away. Oh, we did it. Oh, well, kind of, kind of. I mean, I thought it was more. I mean, either way, it's an epic shot. It's not quite exactly a Texas hard shot, but it's pretty close because the angle that we had was about like this, right? And oh, wow, what a perfect shot. Smoked him at 210 yards, trotting away with the red dot sight. Another one. Holy, there's so many deer. They just keep on coming. Dropped him. She's hit. She's going down. It's just like it never ends. They just keep on coming. <gasps> look, look at this little trail of hunting pressure here. There's so many whitetail that we have to go back and get. There's so many. All right, here's a doe that we smoked on the run at 100 yards out. Now that is a super epic shot. Double lung liver. There he goes, there he goes. Big buck, big buck, big buck. Uh, I'm not gonna get a shot off. He's right in the thick brush. We're gonna try and catch up to him. Holy, there he goes right there, 150 yards out. Oh my God, I think we smoked him. Come on, come on, give me that. He's going down, he's going down guys. I think we smoked him. Might have got a little far back, potentially got intestine, but I don't know, I can't imagine we did. I was holding right in front of that front shoulder as he was running, it looked really good. And the percentage started dropping pretty decently. So either way, we made a decent shot and he is going down. I mean, that's some pretty solid blood. All right, here's our buck down right over here. We finally got one. Big old white tail buck down right here. 230 plus and it's a 236. We hit him in the vertebrae. Oh, come on. I mean, still a pretty decent shot. Just a tad bit high there. 81 yards out and a beautiful white tail is down nonetheless. But anyways, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.